Want to know how to make dynamic and action-packed flying shots just like the pros do? Well today I'm going to be showing you the best ways you can achieve these shots in Blender. So let's get started. First off we're going to take a look at recreating this scene. I found this model on Sketchfab and I'll put the link to download it in the video description below. For this scene we're going to want to add a simple background that will be whizzing past the camera at speed. So you're going to want to create a plane, add some loops and extrude some shapes. I went with something simple just like this. Next we're going to add an array modifier to extend this just a little bit more. You can see me here resizing the shape just to fit the size of the spaceship. I had a keyframe at the start and just a couple of frames after just to block in the motion. Make sure to set the interpolation of the codes to linear and I'll try and match the start and end position. That doesn't have to be exact, but at this speed it makes a nice transition if it's kind of close. And you can see here I actually added the keyframes in the opposite direction, so I quickly scaled those on the Y axis to flip them around. And as you can see we've got a nice background whizzing past the camera. Now we have a nice looping trench, but no animation. For the animation we're going to mainly focus on the noise modifier. This is going to give us some nice random animation that will make the ship feel like it's travelling at super high speed. But we're just going to add some noise modifiers to the X and Y and Z location of the ship. And now I'm keeping this motion quite subtle and keeping the numbers quite low, mainly because we're going to have some camera shake in the end, so try not to overdo the ship too much. Once we've got the translation down, it's time to add some noise to the X and Y rotation, or if it was an aircraft, pitch and roll. Last up is the camera animation. Now this is going to do most of the heavy lifting for this shot as the camera shake is really going to sell the effect of the ship moving really, really quickly. I added some noise to the Z translation and some noise to the Y and Z rotation. And at the end of it all, we have this. Not bad for hardly any keyframes, right? We're about halfway through the tutorial now and if you enjoyed the tutorial so far please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button to learn more about animation in Blender. Let's get on to part two. The second shot we're trying to emulate is this. If you've animated vehicles before then you might be tempted just to use a motion path for something like this shot. With things that fly you've got to think about air resistance, drag and all the other physics based topics that are mind numbingly boring. But luckily there's an easier way to think about it. Pendulums. I'll show you what I mean. First off, you want to create three empties and parent them one after another so that you've got an FK chain with the ship's main control at the bottom. Now I'm just renaming these controls so it's a bit easier to see, but we've got control A at the top, control B in the middle, and lastly, the controller for the ship at the very end. And there you have it, we have a simple FK chain rig for the ship. Then using the topmost control, I start to block out the path of the animation. If you want, you can constrain this top controller to a motion path, but I find it easier just to block out the animation with keyframes. Now once you're happy with that animation, it's time to animate the pendulum swinging. Start by rotating the controls on the x-axis of the apex of all the corners. Then you want to head into the graph editor and what you want to do is you want to offset these curves a few frames before so that you've got the rotation just after it hits the apex of each corner. Then you're going to want to offset each of the child controls a few frames before or after so you have a nice follow through animation or until it feels quite right. What I tend to do is have the animation playing as I offset the animation just so that I can get a feel of what feels nice. Once you've done that you should have this animation with some really nice follow through as it weaves in and out. Now the last things you can do to really push this is add some noise to the ship. So just like before, we're going to add some noise to the X and Z location of the ship. And again, the ship is moving forward, so keep these numbers pretty low. And this just gives us a subtle amount of engine rumble. 
Now you're gonna to wanna to add the finishing touches to this shot and that's animating the camera. I added a couple of keyframes blocking out the rough movement of the camera and then I offset those keyframes to mimic a real camera crew struggling to keep up with the action. On top of that, I added the same modifiers as before on the Z translation and Y and Z rotation. I popped in a couple of lights and that was it. Here's the finished shot. I hope you learned a few tips in this video and let me know in the comments below what ships you plan on animating in the future. And if you made it this far, leave a spaceship emoji in the comments below just so that I know you made it to the end of the video. And if you want to learn more about my animation process for animating characters, click this video here and you'll unlock some hidden secrets that I use to animate characters at the speed of light. I'll see you in the next one.